We black out here. We can't come out here and do it any kind of way we want to. You're watching when keeping it real goes wrong. Your husband yes. can't be the Sydney that he really is out here. Steve Harvey was reteaching Monique on how to follow the sellout manual. Oh, I am truly, truly honored to be here. Those of you who are the elders in the generation, some of you will have to die in order for the current generation to live. They're not fit that flexing. Let me we got to flex a different way. We Let out me. here in a game. This the money game. Here at World of Discount Mattress Liquidators, we want you to buy, buy. I'm talking about a revolutionary. And they told you everything that looked good was white. <laughs> and they made you believe it and they convinced you that this was true. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. It's this is the money, the money game. game. This is the lie that's been told. And it's been sold to black people as green power. Green power is a myth. See, because as long as a man change, possesses the power to change the color of money, then, you know, like the color of money is not significant in struggle. But I, we're in the money something. game. And we're you cannot sacrifice game. your... Logical, beautiful black man. The uh, best thing you can do for poor people is not be brother. one of them. You cannot help them We're in the money game. Home. But let me tell you what the game is before the money game. Like before the money game, is called the integrity game. And we've lost the integrity worrying about the money. Well, allow me to vote for is Senator Bernie Sanders. And he said, this is not the black man's game. This is not the white man's game. This is, well, let me go ahead and correct his statement. He's actually 100% correct when it comes to not being the white or the black man. No, it's the international banking Zionist Ashkenazi Jew. Being Jewish is so much of what I am. Look, my logical, beautiful black man. My father's family was wiped out by Hitler in the Holocaust. I know about what crazy and radical and extremist politics mean. I can only include what they feel from the state of their institutions. I don't know if white Christians hate Negroes or not, but I know that we have a Christian church which is white and a Christian church which is, which is black. I know as Malcolm X once put it, it's the most segregated hour in American life is high noon on Sunday. That says a great deal for me about a Christian nation. It means that I can't afford to trust most white Christians and certainly cannot trust the Christian church. I don't know whether the labor unions and their bosses really hate me. That doesn't matter, but I know I'm not in their unions. I don't know if the real estate lobby is anything You're against black over. people, but I know the real estate lobbies keep me in the ghetto. I don't know if the, if the Board of Education hates black people, but I know the textbooks they give my children to read and the schools that we have to go to. Now, this is the evidence. You want me to make an act of faith, risking myself, my wife, my woman, my sister, my children, on some idealism which you assure me exists in America, which I have never seen. Well, allow me to vote for I learned that lesson as a tiny, tiny child when my mother would take me shopping and we would see people working in stores who had numbers on their arms. He's actually 100% correct when it comes to not being the white or the black man. No, it's the international banking Zionist Ashkenazi Jews game. Money has never been a problem for this country in terms of allotting money because, you see, money here is not based on gold. It's not really based on the goods that produce. This is a lie that's been told. And it's been sold to black people as green power. Green power is a myth. See, because as long as a man change, possesses the power to change the color of money, then, you know, like the color of money is not significant in struggle. He can give black people the, all the green money in the world and tell them they're using red money tomorrow. Black people have to go work for red money. Which is also Caucasian regardless. So yes, you could say white, but just be, be very specific. Yes, it is their game entirely, but the white man works directly under them and they are cousins. So that's number one. Number two, she, he said this is not the white man's game or the black man's game. This is the money-making money game. game, the money game. She said, but wait a minute, Steve. Before it was the money game, it was the integrity <laughs> game. And she said, we lost our, our integrity and we left the integrity game for the money game, Steve. And he said, well, hold on, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. And he literally started jiving. He, Old Foghorn Leghorn He actually Leghorn started ass. to, well, wait a minute. So I'm just, now hold on. Now. You're willing to fold your arms, hold your head, and listen to two black girls. Man, give me some five on the backhand side with all this crazy jive. That's bullshit. Well, look, soft shoe? Should I drink some watermelon for you? Boy? Beautiful black man. Fuck all that, Richard. Hey, Vernon, buddy. Get your motherfucking hands off me, Frank. Play the game. 
They remove you from the respectful commentary of the history of the world. And they went through the textbooks and they told you that everything of endearment in the world belonged to them. My logical, beautiful black mind. And they stole one third of a continent. They stole the whole Nile Valley from you. They stole my logical, beautiful black mind. I'm talking about a revolutionary. <laughs> you know that nigga, don't you? Oh, used to write for him. I know him very well. <laughs> if Wait I crumble, if you my crumble. children crumble, my grandchildren crumble. I cannot, for the sake of my integrity. Doug, like, <laughs> that is a game, nigga. Who <laughs> okay. Stand up here and let everybody that's counting on me crumble so I can make a statement. Everyone who watched it was looking at her steam and how disgusted she was by him trying to convince her that she was wrong for maintaining integrity. What I, what I want you to do is come through this with a different way. Because you, Monique, you my girl. I love you like a sister. I hate what's happening to you. I hate what they're saying that's not true. I want them to know that you are caring, that you're a great mother. It was disgusting to watch such a display right after the blackface history lesson has been taught in the last two to three days for him to get up there and start jiving and dancing for massa because he know massa is watching and i love steve for the work that he has done and for whatever good he does continue to do however to tell a black woman at this time in america right after the situation with the blackface and all of this came out to tell her that she's basically in so many words listen you should just take the money don't maintain integrity. You should. He said, you can't tell me that I'm going to sit here. I need to not feed my family. He said, I shouldn't feed, not feed my family. No, I'm going to make this money. Get the money. What he did with that display by being with Monique, he was putting her fire out, which as of right now, being a black man in America, silencing a black woman for doing what is right makes you look like a white man. Analyzing now. Stand clear. No shock advised. Those of you who are the elders in the generation, some of you will have to die in order for the current generation to live. I don't like the fact that you've been blackballed. You can be unblackballed. You too talented to have to worry about all this where the next one coming from. I want this to end for you. Well, listen, I man. want it to end for you, Monique, because I love you. Because these people are doing it the wrong way, and you better than that. You are better than that. Mm. Now, see, this is why I said I want to be careful with what I say, but he said it before, and he made it publicly known. He said, those of you who are the weak of this elderly generation, he said, some of you in my age group and a little younger are one of the greatest stumbling blocks in the progress of our children. And he said, some of them will rise up and kill you for the lies that you continue to tell them, and you made them weak. So where their future would have been brighter if you would not have been in the way. Analyzing now. Stand clear. No shock advised. <laughs>